One of the main ways to build wealth is through owning a home that grows in value over time. For Black, Indigenous, and people of color households who've been historically excluded from home ownership, this wealth building opportunity hasn't been available. Many first time home buyers rely on support from family members or friends to cover the cost of buying a home, an option that's disproportionately unavailable to BIPOC buyers. Therefore, to encourage more BIPOC households to become homeowners, the CHT Homeownership Equity Program, or HEP, offers a $25,000 forgivable loan that can be used to cover closing costs and as additional down payment assistance for BIPOC buyers. To give you a sense of the need for this program, I'd like to share some data. In Vermont, as Michael mentioned in his opening, there's a huge gap between white homeownership rates and homeownership rates for Black, Indigenous, and people of color households. According to US Census data, homeownership rates for white households are over 70%, both nationally and in Vermont. Homeownership rates for all other racial groups are significantly lower, and homeownership rates for households of color in Vermont fall below national averages. Specifically, homeownership rates for Black households are less than a third of um, white home, the white homeownership rate in Vermont, a low 21.1% compared to 42.1% nationally. And homeownership rates for Chittenden County are similar. We needed to develop a program that both addresses the racial homeownership gap and that works within the framework of federal and state anti-discrimination laws, which I'll briefly describe here. In 1968, Congress passed the Fair Housing Act, which made it illegal to discriminate in housing and mortgage lending based on race. Six years later, in 1974, Congress passed the Equal Credit Opportunity Act, or the ECOA, which prohibited lending discrimination based on sex and marital status. Congress amended the ECOA in 1976, so two years later, to prohibit, prohibit discrimination in credit and lending based on race and several other protected classes. In addition, Congress provided that it would not be considered discriminatory for creditors to establish targeted credit assistance programs for certain purposes. These targeted programs are called special purpose credit programs. For many years, lenders have hesitated to create special purpose credit programs out of a concern that they would violate the Fair Housing Act. In December, 2021, the US Department of Housing and Urban Development, the agency that enforces the Fair Housing Act, issued a legal opinion finding that special purpose credit programs are compatible with a Fair Housing Act. We have designed the down payment assistance loan product as a special purpose credit program. In addition, we've consulted with the agencies that over, oversee the state of Vermont's housing and lending anti-discrimination laws. And they have indicated that our program as a special purpose credit program complies with state law. The Homeownership Equity Program Down Payment Assistance Product is a loan of up to $25,000 for qualifying Black, Indigenous, and people of color households. The loan is forgiven over three years, meaning that if the home buyer stays in their home for three years, they will not have to repay any of the loan. The loan is interest-free and can be used to pay for closing costs, and as additional down payment on the purchase of a shared equity home. This helps the buyer build equity faster. To be eligible for a down payment assistance loan, the home buyers must meet the following four requirements. First, they must purchase a CHT shared equity home. Second, they can make no more than 100% of the area median income, which is also the maximum income allowed to qualify for the shared equity program. 
third, they must be a first home buy, first time home buyer, um, which for our program means that they have not owned a home in the past three years. And finally, at least one of the prospective property owners must identify as BIPOC. Since launching this program last week, we have received several questions about the program, including whether we would consider offering it statewide. For now, these loans are only available in Chittenden, Franklin, and Grand Isle counties. But we may consider offering them to buyers of shared equity homes in other parts of the state if there are the resources and the interest to support such an expansion. Also, I want to note that HEP down payment assistance loans may be coupled with other lenders' programs to help home buyers afford the purchase of a home. Because this program is for shared equity buyers, the first step toward receiving the down payment assistance is to apply for the shared equity program. The shared equity application asks for information about household income, assets, and racial identity. With a complete shared equity application, we determined whether the buyer meets the other eligibility requirements for the down payment assistance program. And if they do, we send a brief eligibility form. In the form, the buyer will provide an attestation that they meet the eligibility requirements for the program, including that at least one of the property owners identifies as BIPOC. Down the road, when the household has successfully found a shared equity home that they want to buy, and they are ready to go under contract, we provide formal documentation related to the down payment assistance loan. All of this information and the Shared Equity Program application is available on CHT's website at getahome.org. We're really excited to launch this new opportunity to encourage homeownership for BIPOC households. 